Welcome to On Point for December 23rd. Before we get started, make sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss on anything going on in the county. And now, here's your Polk News Beat. The Board of County Commissioners has received approximately $400,000 to fight opioid addiction in Polk County. The money is the first installment from settlements with the major national drug distribution companies, and it will be utilized by Polk County's opioid abatement program. According to the National Institute of Health, opioids are a class of drugs that include the illegal drug heroin, synthetic opioids such as fentanyl, and pain relievers available legally by prescription such as oxycodone, codeine, morphine, and many others. Polk County Commissioners are looking for volunteers who would like to serve on the county's Lake Access Advisory Committee. The committee studies how to increase public access to Polk County's lakes and reports findings and recommendations back to the County Commission. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Lake Access Advisory Committee, please submit your resume and cover letter to the address on your screen by close of business on Friday, January 6, 2023. The Polk County Legislative Delegation Meeting in preparation for the 2023 Legislative Session will be held at the Polk State College Center for Public Safety in Winter Haven on January 13th at 1.30 p.m. This meeting allows the public to address state lawmakers before Legislative Session begins in March. Anyone who would like to be placed on the printed agenda or for more information, contact the email or phone number on the screen. Presenters' forms will be due by 5 p.m. on January 7th. That's all for your Polk News Beat this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can find us on social at PolkCounty.fl. My name is Brittany Olson. See you next week. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to polk-county.net. Yeah.